Hi, I'm John Holden, and welcome to Earth. Water, it's our Earth's most precious and most threatened resource. The health of our world water supply is more critical now than ever before, and nowhere is the crisis more evident than right here along the Rio Grande River and the border of Mexico. But a unique global partnership is helping save our fresh water, as you're about to see. Life depends on fresh water, from the food we eat, to the nature that surrounds us, to the energy we use. Yet despite the huge role that water plays for mankind and nature, it's a finite resource that is threatened. Less than 1% of our world's water is fresh and accessible. It's a crisis worldwide. You know, it's hard to overemphasize the importance of freshwater ecosystems. 10% of the animals on Earth uh, need freshwater ecosystems for their survival. So it's incredibly important to both wildlife and humans. Or what is needed to combat this problem, I feel uh, are unique uh, collaborative partnerships. Since 2007, World Wildlife Fund has partnered with the Coca-Cola Company to work together to help conserve the world's freshwater resources. Well, it's the largest beverage company in the world with almost two billion servings every day in over 200 countries. Water is really at the heart of the Coca-Cola Company. So we're intently focused on protecting and restoring water resources. Um, and it's not just for our business, it's also for the communities that share this resource with us, and those are the communities that we serve. The other great advantage of such a global partnership is it's long term. Often from a conservation perspective, we have projects that are three years long, and you just can't battle some of the conservation issues such as the one we have here in Rio Grande in three years. We've been working with the Coca-Cola company for over a decade along the Rio Grande, and it's such long-term partnerships that are needed. So John, the obvious question is why the Rio Grande? Well, the Rio Grande is one of the world's iconic rivers. It's very majestic and it provides drinking water to over 10 million people in the U.S. and in Mexico. But it also faces a lot of challenges uh, from water stress to climate change to just increasing water demand. So there's a lot of work to do to restore this river. For the Rio Grande, Rio Bravo, water is everything. Water scarcity is the norm here. It is a desert. It's important for a variety of reasons. One, the international border is right in the middle of it. And uh, we have found throughout the decade that we've been working here that the river and the border in particular with the river there as the border actually has brought people together. It's not a, div a dividing point. It's like brought people together in collaboration of a, the management of a very important resource. And so that is that I think is really critical. So there's good reason they call this the Big River or the Rio Grande, but it's really hard to imagine the immensity and popularity and importance of this river unless you get, well, a bird's eye view, or in this case, a view from a helicopter. This project we're doing here in the Rio Grande is a great example of our goal to return to nature and communities every drop of water that we use in our beverages and their production. And we do that through community water projects and watershed restoration projects. We have replenished over 200 billion liters of water per year across the globe by doing these projects. One of the biggest challenges to the Rio Grande is a predator called giant cane, a thirsty invasive plant that has taken over the banks of the river, narrowed the channel, and held soil hostage. Eradicating this giant cane has become crucial to freeing up fresh water on this iconic river. So what, what is this doing to the environment, this giant cane? Well, cane does a couple things. One is that it, it uh, excludes any other biodiversity. It simply outgrows many of the other native plants. It just takes over, outcompetes other species, uses a lot of water. And one of the things that also has concerned us the most about uh, giant cane is it has a perfect sediment filter. So when we do get high flows here, you can imagine the flow passing through the cane and collecting sediment and the banks build up, buries uh, prime riparian and aquatic habitat, makes the river more narrow and less suitable for a lot of native species. How do you get rid of it? What's the procedure? There's two main steps that we do. One is we, we do a prescribed burn, which is a planned burn, and that reduces the biomass. And then we wait six weeks where the cane is about uh, yo high, 
and uh, then we treat it with a, with a federally approved herbicide. So when that's all gone, this is gonna be a clean area, which is gonna mean what for it, the river? It's gonna mean that the river is gonna to start to look like a river again. It's going to, some of the sediment will go back into the river. The river will be wider, more shallow, would offer prime habitat again for a lot of aquatic species and riparian habitat. So the Rio Grande is a prime example of what a partnership like this can do to help ensure safe, fresh water for our environment. In this case, restoring a grand river after decades of decline. Well, there's so much natural beauty to this river and this watershed. Um, it's incredible to see the changes that our project has already made around restoring this river back to its natural channel. And what we're seeing now, actually, the river is beginning to look like a real river again. The banks are eroding backwards. Uh, the river's becoming wider and shallower instead of this narrow and deep sluice that we had before. It is really exciting to see, and all that uh, bodes very well, not only for the communities that live along the river, but for the, uh, for the wildlife species that depend on it. Preserving the flow of the Rio Grande is just one challenge of our Earth's ever-changing climate but you know, global partnerships are meeting that challenge and making a difference in making our water cleaner and safer worldwide.